What's up, guys? Today, we're diving into the weird world of Canva. Did you know Canva has these third-party apps built into their platform if you're on a pro account? And these apps do some weird stuff. Today, I picked out five of them to show you. Some of them are super helpful. Some of them are more like a novelty, but they're all really fun. Let's just dig right into it. So here we are on Canva. To access these third-party apps I'm gonna show you, we're just gonna hit the apps button on the left sidebar. And down here are a lot of different apps that plug in to Canva. Let's start with the first one that I think is really interesting. It's called Secret Ink. What Secret Ink does is it creates AI-generated images for you, but that have subliminal messages. So let's create a new design and I'll show you how it works. So in this first field, you're gonna put in the word or words that you wanna hide in your image. And you only get a max of 10 characters here. So I'm going to select subscribe. And then in this next field, you're gonna put in a background description. So let's do puppies running in a field. And then we're gonna hit the generate button. And look at that, I got an image of puppies and the spots on the puppies subtly spell out subscribe. Now you'll notice that this image that Secret Ink generates isn't really the highest res. This canvas here is 1080 by 1080, and this image is clearly much smaller than that. I can scale it up here, and I can fill out this frame by using other AI-enabled tools that come with Canva that I featured in a prior video. I will link to that video right here if you haven't seen that yet. So to do that, all we need to do is select Edit Photo and select Magic Expand. I'm gonna do the whole page. And it's giving me other options here, and I think that does it. So that's your look at Secret Ink. The next app from Canva that I think you should see is called Patterned AI, which creates custom seamless pattern backgrounds. Again, let's create a new design. And in the first field here, you're gonna describe your pattern elements, colors, and background. So I'm gonna put in evenly spaced, tiny realistic ducks of varying colors. And it's gonna ask for the number of images. You can go up to four. And you'll notice here it says I have nine credits left. This app seems to be a little bit different from the other ones I've played with on Canva in that it only gives you a certain amount of tries until you have to start paying for the tool. So I'm gonna generate the pattern and spend some credits. And it gave me different options. I think I like this one the best but you'll notice I used a bunch of credits already. I only have a few credits left. I'm going to add this to the design and now I get a background of all of these ducks. Are these the realistic ducks I asked for? Definitely not. I think patterned AI is kind of fun, kind of a novelty. If you're not being so picky, I think you might like this until your credits run out. Do I think it's worth paying for this tool? Kind of not because the accuracy is not great. All right, let's move on to our next tool, which is one that I love. It's called Shade. Shade is great for anyone that has a hard time designing a color palette. Basically what it does is it automatically designs a monochromatic color palette for any of your projects here on Canva, and I love that. So the way I would use Shade in Canva is first, all you have to do is pick one color that you like that you wanna use as the basis for your entire design. And you can see that Shade creates a color palette for you based on the color you select in this spectrum up here. So I'm just going to add the palette to the design and I can use this color palette to modify a template from Canva or I can create an original design using this color palette. I'm just gonna select an existing template here and all these colors from my palette are here in my document colors. And I can just select every element in this template and replace the colors with colors from that color palette from Shade. If you have a hard time picking colors from your designs, a monochromatic look is always a great way to go. And Shade makes it really easy. Of all the tools we're gonna look at today, I definitely think this one is the most helpful. But let's move on to the next app I think you need to see because it's kind of crazy. It is called Sketch to Life. Sketch to Life allows you to create more complex image out of your simple doodles. So the first thing you need to do is just doodle your sketch right in this window. And I'm gonna describe this sketch. Let's say long haired cat with blue fur. 
oh my god look at my doodle come to life it kind of misinterpreted what i was looking for i said blue fur meaning that I thought that the cat was going to have entirely blue fur, but this image is super cute, isn't it? I do wonder if I went back and used the magic media tool from Canva, which is Canva's own built-in AI generator, if I would get a more accurate image. Yeah, see, this is more what I was looking for. These images are great. So sketch to life is the kind of thing that's more of a novelty and fun to use, but not something I really see a lot of people using in their design work because it's not as flexible or reliable as the existing tools in Canva. And the last app in the Canva app store that I think you should check out is called Enhancer. Enhancer claims to take your low res blurry images and restore the quality so they look crystal clear. I've pulled together some very old family photos that we're gonna try Enhancer on. So I'm gonna upload this first old photo. This is this hilarious image of my parents from the 70s. So you understand the nature of this photo. It's a printed photograph from decades ago that we snapped with an iPhone camera. So that's how we got the digital image. All right, so it says Enhancer has finished it and it upscaled the image by 500%. Let's add it to my design. As a control, let's drop in the original image, which you can see is actually much larger than what Enhancer gave me. So that's interesting. Let's scale it up for a side-by-side -side comparison. I do think that it definitely helped with some of the graininess, particularly here, like in my dad's neck but the image overall looks soft and it didn't really sharpen up any of the soft edges the way that the preview from Enhancer in the little app section of Canva led me to believe it would. Let's try another photo. I'm gonna pick this funny Halloween picture. So I'm gonna drop this image in and as a control, let's look at the original image. And I have to say on this image, I think Enhancer did a great job. Look at how much more clear and sharp the Enhancer version is from the original. So my verdict is that Enhancer is a little hit or miss. It's definitely worth a shot if you have an old photo that you're trying to scale up, but I wouldn't count on it to work every single time. So you guys, what did you think of my picks from Canva's app store? Some of them are pretty wild, right? Do you see yourself using any of these in real life? Let us all know down in the comments. I have some other Canva videos. I'm gonna stick right here for you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'll see you again.